Van Wert County uh, was founded in the um, 1860s by Isaac Van Wart and it was actually um, a typo in Washington when they were doing some sort of application and Van Wart became Van Wert and so that is um, that is the story of why it's Van Wart is a typo. The uh, district that I serve is pretty rural. Wheat, corn, and soybeans is mostly what is around here. Uh, a lot of farmers and uh, we have a lot of wind too. We're primarily farms, uh, ag businesses, ag related businesses, hog farms, chicken farms, things like that. We see a lot of stagnant uh, uh, tax revenue. We don't see any substantial growth. Well I think if you think back, remember back when the economy went sour, we lost factories, moved out of town here, and, and everybody was uh, tightening their belt up because the money wasn't there. At that point in time, the county was starting to cut back hours at the courthouse, uh, library. Uh, the schools were, you know, implementing, trying to pass more levies to get some more money. The roads were in bad shape. Uh, bridges were in bad shape. Everything just kind of was deteriorating. Before this came in, why we was all wondering what was going to happen to our uh, little community. We were basically dead around here for 30 years. We had nothing. And when we heard the whispers of, of wind energy coming to town, it was like, wow, it's, you know, it, finally something is going to happen in, in our community. really give us a shot in the arm uh, for our economy and an uplift and uh, so it's helped uh, create jobs and it's helped the farmers that have them on their farm that they recover money from, from them and uh, I, I don't see any negative there. I see everything positive. We had a $600 million investment in, in Paulding and Van Wert County. Uh, the largest investment in Ohio at that year. You look at um, many other towns similar in size to Van Wert, Ohio. How many of those towns get opportunities at a, uh, a $25 million initial investment? We aren't going to see a large factory locate in a rural area. Uh, to see this kind of revenue just literally fall out of the sky is, is incredible. It's not like um, some where a big box store might come in and uh, wind up closing a whole bunch of small mom and pop shops. We have uh, set up a facility that is completely new and it didn't put anyone out of work. It, it put more people into work. People who may have been laid off during the recession uh, had an opportunity to work. Economic development is funded through a hotel motel tax and those numbers just skyrocketed with the guys we had staying at the hotel, working on the turbines, eating at the restaurants, shopping at our stores. And then of course also there's a very generous annual tax revenue that everybody benefits from, all citizens of Van Wert County. That was a big benefit for the schools. It just puts that much less pressure on them to try to go out for a levy and raise property taxes. It's brought awareness, it's brought growth, it's brought jobs, it's brought tax, huge tax revenue to our community that, that our schools would not have had. $860,000 a year for the school that my kids go to. They've each got a laptop. They're learning about technology that isn't anywhere else in the state right now. Without question, and the school board agreed completely, that we needed to use these new resources to provide services for our students. And the way you provide services is through people. We've started a wind turbine technology school at the Vantage Vocational. I mean, so kids can learn about it here and can work on them anywhere. They can move to Texas, they can move to Oklahoma, and they can learn it right here in Van Wert. They have started a, a wind energy program um, there, and we're just trying to work on how to get our kids prepared to go into that program, because this is all new. Um, to our district and uh, we're just reaping the benefits. Currently the 
status of the wind energy in Ohio is uh, uh, kind of been put on hold. Ibadrola has been looking at a second development here, but recent legislation made it practically impossible for them to build that. You know, if we were able to have the rest of what had been planned, um, the impact would be a lot greater for the whole county. Personally, both my wife and I, we, we, we were really troubled by the negative comments that we occasionally hear. Unfortunately, you hear the, the bad and not the good. Uh, on a high, windy day, you might get some noise from the turbines, but you also get noise from the trees. Uh, are we going to cut all the trees down so we don't have that noise? Or are we going to stop the trucks from running up down the highways and the tractors because of the noise? It's actually easier to get around a wind turbine than it is a power line. So the power line towers are more of an obstruction, I think, when I'm out running the combine. So it's not bad living amongst them. At least they're not up putting a, uh, a smokestack up there and belching coal soot all over my house or putting a nuclear plant up. The power we produce is clean energy, right? There's nothing burned, there, there are no gases, there's no um, emission of any kind, there's no fuel consumed. The power that we generate is from the wind that's blowing. The environmental impact is, is critical, it's essential, but it's so much more than that. It's the economic impact, it's, it's the impact to our communities. This is just our little bit of utilizing natural resources for Paulding County that, you know, is a podunk place that nobody's heard of before, but yet we are impacting someone, somewhere. I see it as, you know, harnessing the wind. It's, it's high tech. It's something we're doing to help the environment. So I think it's a great thing for Van Wert. Everyone that talks to me in economic development says, hey, you guys got the wind turbines. And I say, yes, we do and I'm proud of them. I think it's awesome that Van Wert County has taken this step forward and we're leading the state.